Before we start this video, uh, we need to do an update on uh, the horse, on the baby foal we rescued. Uh, the baby foal we rescued did not make it. Um, we haven't been able to get any other information other than uh, due to numerous complications which made it impossible to survive, uh, that the foal had to be euthanized and it was done humanely. Um, and these people, I trust them and, and they're certified animal rescuers and they deal with uh, rescue baby foals all the time and uh, they just believed it couldn't be done. So despite everyone's best efforts, uh, the baby foal didn't make it, but you know, it, at least it didn't pass alone on the top of a mountain. Uh, it passed in people caring for it and loving it and trying our very best to help it survive and, and hopefully it felt that. Uh, today we're also going to meet some new baby kittens. They had fleas where I was afraid to treat them on and I've been giving her a lot of privacy and when I go to check on them I saw all this fleas. Okay, we're having a really bad tick season this year. We live in the mountains, of course, in West Virginia, and ticks are really, really bad this year. Now, Cruz here takes trifexis, and he takes that for fleas and heartworms and intestinal worms, but it doesn't prevent ticks. So we had to get him something for ticks. Because ticks are really bad this year, like super bad. Like I said, ticks are bad this year. <laughs> super bad. Super bad. Not just bad, but... Super bad. Super bad. We got him that next guard. Now they're not paying us. They didn't give it to us for free. Actually, we paid. How much we pay for that? Um, thirty dollars. Thirty bucks. And how long is it going to last? A month. Okay, a month for thirty bucks, and it says easy, tasty, monthly, and this is supposed to keep ticks off of him. Now ticks carry diseases. Ticks uh, can bring into your household and get on your other pets. They can hurt you. They can <laughs> carry people diseases. Ticks are. I want to say one of the biggest dangers. Now see, Cruz, I forget, I hate that I forgot, but he was on a tick guard um, while Riley was here, but it was his last script of it, his last peel. Um, he was pretty protected from ticks. He would still have a couple, but poor Riley, every morning I had to go out and take tweezers and get ticks off of her She's or use my fingers today. and pull them out. Oh my gosh. My hair is a mess, guys, sorry. But, um, yeah, she had them really bad. And I've noticed that when we'd get back from our runs, there would be a tick crawling on us from him going on a run, him getting on the couch and bringing ticks in. And it's just, it's been really bad this year. We've not had that many ticks. And this year, it's been really bad. We got, we got three pills here. Do they take all three yeah, at once? Yeah, that's the cat star for the cat. Oh, okay. <clears throat> That's not yours. That's yeah, Capstar for, for the cat. Yeah, this is for 60 pounds to 121 pounds. Okay. You want to give it to him? And it's a chewable, treaty, meaty tablet, it says. Okay, Cruz. Let's see if you really like it. See if I have to shove it down your throat. We're going to see if he actually likes it, if it's tasty or not. Wait. Or if I'll have to do it the old vet tech way. <laughs> Wait. Okay. And... He likes it. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, can I have another uh, tick treat? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I'm going to tell you about this guy. You guys watched the video where he was had his uh, female visitor, where he had his mating thing. Well, after that, he was grieving for her. He didn't want to eat for a couple days. Um, he was really, really particular about eating. He didn't sleep a whole lot, and he was really whiny and cry. And... Uh, wanting attention a lot and he uh, he missed her he really did so every time we would let him out he would go around smelling where she had been and uh, we played a couple games with her where we let her out the side gate and surprise him and and uh, he would go check in the side gate and it's really it's pretty sad and they were only together for four days four or five days something like that and it goes to show that dogs really do miss each other and they miss their people and they grieve that's what he was doing he was really grieving and missing her just over a few days oh, she's so we had been putting off treating the mommy where she had kittens and fleas had gotten pretty bad on them and the vet said i could treat the mommy but i can't do anything for the kittens besides a dawn bath 
baby. I know. I don't like doing you this way. There's mommy. Mommy is all upset about this. It's okay. Guys, listen, saving turtles is okay, but don't take them uh, because the chances are they'll spend their entire life trying to get back to where you took them from. Uh, don't take them home. Uh, if you see them in the road, you want to like help them in the direction that they're going across the road, cool. Uh, but don't pick them up and decide to take them, and especially don't forget them in your car. Because you're going to make them late. <laughs> yeah. They're trying to get somewhere. They got somewhere to be, man. And they, they know this area, they, they, they've lived there their entire life, and that's where they're going to try to get back to their entire life. Don't, don't, don't take them home, and don't forget them in your car. Okay, I, did, I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I was helping it a lot. <laughs> you were helping it. And my dad was like, oh my gosh, the car smells like turbine. Whatever that is. Carbide. Carbide, yeah. yeah. A, a lot of good intentioned uh, animal rescuers actually do more harm than good. I learned. I know. And she, she has since made up for it a thousand fold. <laughs> <laughs>